Welcome back to part two of our two-part dentistry video series, everyone. Now, I know you were so in love with Dr. Jones in part one. <laughs> Wait, you didn't watch it? No, 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 you can't watch this, but you have to go back and watch that one, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, in this part, we actually have Dr. Duar. She has a surprise bookworm, and in that, we looked at examining the teeth, we did a cleaning, and a fluoride treatment, and do not Google what a fluoride treatment <laughs> is. Watch the video, you learn all about it, all right? So let's get right into this one. Okay, so welcome back to the dentist. I'm Auntie Roberto, and this is Auntie Deidre. And what we'll be doing today are three things. Cleaning, examination, just to check out the teeth, make sure they're okay. And we're gonna do a fluoride treatment, which is basically a strengthening treat treatment for the teeth so that they don't get cavities in the future, okay? All right, so, did you have your rings already? Yes, I think you rinsed out already with some Listerine. All right, so we'll go right into it. I'm gonna put your chair back, 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 back. Mm-hmm. All right. Comfortable? Okay. You can get a little, hmm? You can get a little lip balm for him. Make sure the lips are moisturized during the procedure. Mm -hmm. All right, and you have on your dark glasses to protect you from the bright light. Ready, so we're good to go. All right, now Khalil, I'm gonna ask you a little question and you're gonna be honest with me. Have you been brushing regularly? How much times a day you brush your teeth? Oh yeah, really? Wow, that's excellent actually. That's very good. So in general, it is good to brush your teeth more than once for the day. So either two times or three times like you do, which will, that will keep your teeth nice and healthy and cavity free, right? Now I'll ask you one more question. How much times are you flossing? Well, are you even flossing? Mm, not most of the times. Okay, what do you floss with? Is it on the little stick or the little floss stri string that you floss with? The stick. Oh, on the stick. Okay, the stick is pretty easy. But sometimes, mm -hmm. if I don't have the sticks, I just use the string. Oh, you use the string one. Okay, so you'd say you floss once a day? Probably. Probably. Okay, well, that's honest. Now, it is very important for little children like you to floss the teeth regularly too. What the flossing does is clean in between the teeth where the little sugar bug can hide and cause cavities, right? So the floss just cleans out the in between the teeth. So in addition to the brushing and the flossing, the teeth keep healthy and strong, right? So, so it's basically a tool that is for places that the toothbrush cannot reach. Exactly, well, you're an A student. You're an A plus student. Okay, I, I, think I, I think I picked up on that one. All right, so we are gonna move to the fun part, which is to clean up the teeth. And when you come to the dentist, we clean the teeth and we get off all the little sugar bugs that you can get so that the teeth are nice, healthy, and white and sparkly. So I'm gonna just put your chair up a little more. All right, and back. Here we go. Let me just get my shield there, please. Thank you. Okay, get to business. All right. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna put two things in your mouth. This is a special magic tooth toothbrush that's gonna clean the teeth. And this is what we call Mr. Thirsty. And Mr. Thirsty drinks up all the little water. And to Deidre, show him how it drinks the water. Right, so you don't need to be afraid of any of these things, okay? okay. 
All right, and if you want us to pause, just raise your hand and we'll pause. Here we go. Looking good. We're gonna get rid of all the sugar bugs. <laughs> and Khalil, I have another question for you. Have you been eating a lot of candy and sweets? Yes. Oh, you, you're kind of trying to cut down on them. Okay, that's good because you know sweets and candy, the sugar bugs love that, you know. You know that, right? So whenever you eat candy, a lot of candy, they get stuck in the teeth. And then the sugar bugs that are in the mouth, they eat, they eat those little um, candy. And then that's when you get cavities. Yeah. So um, try not to eat that much candy one or two at least for what the week <laughs> so you and your mom set goals on how to cut down your candy okay so that you don't have any cavities because auntie don't want to have to do any fillings on you all right good job say no to candy or mommy can find out for the sugar-free candy so that um the sugar bugs don't have anything to chew on so once once the candy doesn't have sugar in there you look for sugar-free candy, then that is good for the teeth, harm, harmless, right? So that's a good suggestion for you. Now, Khalil, so you're having a little bit of bleeding gums down here, which is fine. Sometimes the gums bleed. And the reason why they bleed is because if, if, you, if you may not be brushing as often, so maybe some days you forget to brush three times a day or floss three times a day, that causes the gums to bleed, right? Because you didn't, you didn't get to remove the sugar bugs. Once you're brushing and flossing regularly, the gums should not bleed, right? So if... Mm -hmm. blood falls right so actually bleeding gums whenever you're flossing and you see them bleeding it's actually a good thing because it means that now you're cleaning where you didn't used to clean now once you once you carry out flossing regularly after that what you notice is that you, ha you don't have no bleeding again because the gums will be healthy and clean right so at first if you say you fall off your routine and you're not doing it so much anymore, then you see the bleeding. Once you start back with your routine, it will get better and the bleeding will go away. All right. So don't be don't be scared when you see the bleeding gums. That's OK sometimes. But it's important that we try to get um, get to the bottom of it. All right. So now that the teeth are all nice and clean, I'm going to use my little air here and I'm going to take a good, good look at them and see if they have any cavities. So let's see. So cavities are little holes in the teeth um, that, that basically cause the teeth to be weak and sometimes can let them even hurt you. So when the dentist finds cavities, they will fill them, they will clean them out, fill them so that they don't cause you any trouble. So that's what cavities are. When you brush and you floss regularly, it keeps all the cavities away. So that's why the dentist will tell you over and over again, brush, 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 and floss, floss, floss. Now, Auntie DJ, you can get a little suction there, please. Um, 
So let's see, he has some baby teeth here still and some of his adult teeth are coming up nicely. All right, so we're checking out the teeth to see if we have any cavities. Looking good so far. Looking nice and white and pretty. I don't see any cavities so far. Let me take a look at the top teeth and blow a little air here. All right. Mm -hmm. Looking good so far. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Right, and we are good to go. No cavities. Yay! Awesome, Kalil. Keep up the good work. All right, so now that I'm going to do a little flossing for you. And it seems that mommy may have to take you to the orthodontist to check these teeth out too. You have a bit of crowding down here, so the teeth don't have enough space to come up properly. So I'm gonna send you to another, it's another dentist, but it's called a specialist and they put on braces on the teeth to make sure that they're straight and nice. Mm -hmm. Good job, almost done. Mm -hmm. Okay, now time for the magic toothpaste. Now we're gonna polish up the teeth and we're gonna take off all the little stains and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There we go, magic toothbrush, magic toothpaste. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna feel a little vibration. And let's see the tongue. I'm gonna polish it as well. And make sure that you also stick out your tongue for me. Yes, and when you brush your teeth, make sure that you brush your tongue. Because if you don't brush your tongue, you could have bad breath. Because if you don't brush the sugar bugs off the tongue, it could leave the tongue smelling bad. So you have to brush your tongue, okay? All right, now it's time to rinse out. So you're gonna rinse out good, 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 good. Wash away all the sugar bugs. Take your time and spit. All right, Khalil, so now it's time for your fluoride treatment. You know what that is? No, what is it? Okay, so fluoride treatment is a gel um, that we put on the teeth so that the teeth can be as strong as possible to protect you from having cavities in the future. Is one of the ingredients magical toothpaste? <laughs> yes, it's similar to the magic toothpaste and it does have the same magical powers. Yes, and it, don't worry, it don't taste bad, it tastes very good. It tastes like kind of, I think it tastes like gum, right, Auntie Deidre? Yeah, so bubblegum flavor. So you ready to go, Khalil? It's three minutes long. Are you ready? All right, so you can't spit or anything in that time, but Auntie Deidre, Auntie Deidre will give you some suction, Mr. Thirsty, all right? Okay, so here we go. All right, I will, I can, you can put it in. Um, all right, gonna open wide, Khalil. Good job. A bit wider. And bite down. Good job. All right, bite down all the way. All right, you can just chillax now. 
and we'll put our put on our timer a few minutes later i'm gonna take out the fluoride trays now all right open a little bit there we go we're so not gonna rinse it out because i want the fluoride to stay on the teeth i'm gonna spit right here all right and no eating or drinking for another hour so that the fluoride gets to work on the teeth and strengthen them right yay <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Bookworms and thank you so much to the dentist from The Dentist Next Door for being a part of today's video. Thank you so much for having us. It was so fun. We can't wait to meet the Bookworms. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it is always a pleasure. Now, what you're going to do if you're interested at following and becoming a patient at The Dentist Next Door, the descriptions are below. But in the meantime, you can also follow them at the dentist next door JA on Facebook and Instagram. Yes. All right. So thanks for watching, bookworms. Bye. Bye.